Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video, we're gonna focus on the lab panel pilot one, and we're gonna dive very deep into the feature pilot tour. We have already talked about an in-depth overview about this camera, about this user interface, and on episode two, I have already shared with you my high quality photo workflow, as well as a simplified all-in camera high quality photo workflow. In this episode, I'm gonna share with you my personal understand about the Pioneer Tour, some tips and tricks, and a real world example of from shooting to uh, post-processing and uploading and everything about the Pioneer Tour. My name is Xu Xingguo. On my YouTube channel, you can learn a lot about 360 photography and master a one-shot 360 camera like never before. Okay, now let's get started. So when you're shooting with the Pioneer Tour mode, you can capture several shots of your virtual tour environment and upload directly to the cloud server of the lab panel. And the cloud server will receive your data, receive your images and some extra information and analyze with the virus slam algorithm. That will help you generate the hotspot. This hotspot will link all your files, all your images all together. And finally, you will have an auto-generated virtual tour with auto-generated hotspot in the real world and link all of them together. The user experience about Pilot Tour is very interesting. And I will share some of my Pilot Tour gallery down in the video description so you can uh, evaluate the quality about the Pilot Tour feature. For those of you who want to dive very deep in the math, in the computer vision aspect about the SLAM, you can refer to this video. There is a very good presentation talking about every technical detail about the SLAM algorithm. So when we're talking about Pilot Tour, we cannot skip the part of the Viral Slam. So Viral Slam is short for the Viral Simultaneously Localization and Mapping. Just imagine you are in an unfamiliar environment, such as your virtual tour environment. Now you want to get all the information just from your visual data and generate a mapping of the unfamiliar environment. At the same time, find your location in the unfamiliar mapping. So that is the localization and mapping. As we know that for the pilot one, we have four imaging sensors around the body. The camera could perceive the visual information from all around the world in 360. The camera also have an IMU sensor inside the camera body for stabilization. Record the IMU data in real time, as well as all the visual information about the environment. Upload all this data in the package to the cloud server. The cloud server then will do some advanced estimation and some filter and finally generate the mapping of your unfamiliar environment and judge your shot in each of the localization. So that is why you can get your hotspot in your unfamiliar environment. So that is the magic of the Virus Slam. Shooting with Pilot Tour is actually very easy. I will show you how to do it step by step. Here you can see my interior space is uh, very, very beautiful. And uh, I'm gonna test and try to get the best possible result from the Pilot Tour. Camera. And uh, here you can see the different modes, right? And uh, on, the, on the left, on the very left of the scroll bar, it is the Pilot Tour, as you can see here. And in the Pilot Tour mode, you can see there are four lenses on the camera body. The lens of on the front, which on the other side of the screen, which is this one, this is the main lens of the virus slam algorithm. So this lens is very important for so we'd better put this lens towards a place that has a very uh, complex uh, geometric structure like this. You can see in the, in the main menu, go to the camera and uh, we'll see all the options for the pilot one to capture. So in the, in the middle of the setting is the photo mode and this is time lapse mode. And on the very left of the scroll is the pilot tour, which I will uh, have tried to experience with my own body, with my own camera body. And in the pilot tour mode, remember that I have a very small uh, tips for you is that uh, take, take a look at this one. Now this is a camera. Yeah, that is a screen, and the lens that is on the other side of the screen is the main lens that is uh, going to capture 
the 3D structure. So this is the main camera. The other three cameras are the auxiliary camera. So make sure that the front camera, you can see that. The front camera, you put a hand in the front of the camera, you can see where the main camera has worked in, right? So better put everything that is has a very obvious geometric structure at the front lens. And after that, press the shutter button. And the camera height is 1.6 meters because it's my, at my eye level. And uh, the scene's name of that is uh, the name of the hotel. Okay. And start pilot tour. And before taking that tour, the camera have to find its uh, position in the uh, unfamiliar situation. So that is uh, simultaneously localization and mapping. The first thing that they have to move this camera slowly up and down, front and back, left and right. The first, let's move slowly up and up and down. Right. Have the help the camera to find its position in this environment. And front, let's go to the front and go to the back. Okay, and left, and right, okay, well, it slowly up and down, okay, now that you can see after a short while, the camera has found its initial position and have a uh, familiar with this uh, environment. And after that, we can take the shot. And now we can see there's zero photo have been taken. And with the resolution of 8K, and uh, I will hide myself, so I will set the countdown recording to off. Okay, after that, you are going to take the shot. And for the Explorer settings, I will leave everything at auto, and shutter auto, ISO auto, EV auto, everything that is set auto because there's a plenty of light of this interior space. So I don't have to worry about this too much. And uh, yes, now I'm going to take the first shot. You to scroll down, you can see I am invisible right now. Okay, the first shot has been done. And uh, make sure you can. Uh, one thing I have to, sh to show you is that in the pilot tour mode, the camera does not support HDR shooting. So it's just take a single shot in every one of the situation. And you have to hide yourself in every one of the shot. Hide ourselves and take the second shot. Okay. And now take a third shot. In the middle of the, of the room. Okay. Yes. Okay, the third shot. And uh, go to this place. And when you take the shot, you can preview in the live, the live preview. Okay, the third shot. And you are not, if you are not satisfied with the white balance, you can see, you can set to pro mode and lock the white balance to sunny because the weather is really great today, right? Or you can leave the auto. Yep. I'm going to take another shot here. And be careful with the stitching line because this camera will have some four stitching lines. You have to, in a light preview, right? And now the next shot. Okay, now I'm done. I will exit this one and stop pilot tour. Okay, so that is, uh, I have finished this pilot tour shooting.
Now let me show you how to upload your Pilot Tour data into the cloud only with your camera. It's very easy and the experience is really great. Uh, here in the gallery menu, you can find the Pilot Tour with the icon, with the Tour icon in the center of the file. Uh, we have taken the Pilot Tour in the hotel uh, back in a few days ago. And this one, we have shot 26 photos. And after that, you can click on Upload and Add to the Pilot Tour. You have to sign in to the Pilot Tour website, log in with your own account in the Pilot Tour website. As you can see, I have already logged in as Yu Guo in the Pilot Tour website and click on Upload. It depends on your bandwidth, but usually it's really fast to upload all this data right into the cloud server. Cloud server will generate all the hotspots and link them together and generate a whole virtual tour website for you. So you don't have to worry about anything. Just shoot with Pilot Tour, upload to the cloud server, wait for the cloud server to generate all these files for you uh, with a few hours. A very interesting virtual tour with all the hotspot generate automatically with the help of the virus LAN. Once you have uploaded all the files to the cloud server, it will take the cloud server with several hours to generate the hotspot with the virus LAN and generate a virtual tour link for you to share with the clients. And you can see that after this one, uh, there is an icon on the top indicating that it's processing in the cloud server. For the other tours, once it has been processed, uh, you can find a complete icon on the top. As you can find it here. This one, it has been released. The since it released on a Pilot Tour, you can open that link on your Pilot Go app or the PC and desktop. Once the cloud server has generated Pilot Tour for you, first you can view this Pilot Tour directly with your app. Here you can see I'm on the Pilot One app. I go to settings, you can see from the pilot ID, I have already registered as Yu Guo and have signed with my ID and here is my pilot tour. In this menu, you can see all the pilot tours I have successfully uploaded and generated uh, in the cloud server. And with the down, you can see everything that is uh, on my list. Here I can go directly into that pilot. It will take some time to load that and uh, you can see that I can step go in between all these different hotspots. So the experience is really nice and uh, it's very intelligent. If you want to share this uh, example with your friends, uh, you can either copy the link and uh, go to the Facebook or share directly share the link or you can go to the uh, share, share to the WeChat or share to the WeChat moment. I hope in the future you can add more sharing options such as the Facebook and Instagram and blah blah blah, right? So that is the use case of the Pilot Tour and view this Pilot Tour on your cell phone. Here let me show you how to view the Pilot Tour on your desktop. Uh, first you need to log in with your Lab panel Pi account, you can find the scenes, the photo number, upload time, and the status. And for the operations, we have three options. This one is to view in the browser, this one is to share with your friends, with your clients, and this one is to delete that. Here I will show you this one. View that in your uh, web browser. You can see after a short while, it will load all this uh, virtual tour with auto generate the hotspot and you can move around in the room and it depends on the bandwidth if your internet is really great uh, you can view you can go step in between all these photos very very fast and you can also uh, copy and paste this link and share with your friends or with your clients here is my use case i was shooting at daylight and you can also find something else in this shot okay and that is the uh, basic operations, how to view and share. To wrap up, I would like to give you some tips and tricks and make a summary about its pros and cons about Pilot Tour. So tips number one, 
The starting point, the initial point of pilot tour is really important. The initial point, the initial perspective about the camera is very important. Uh, so in the workflow section, I have mentioned that the most important lens with the Virus Lamp and Pilot Tour is actually this main lens. The main lens located just on the opposite side of the screen. You can see this, this is a screen, and the main lens is this one. And when you're shooting with the Virus Lamp, the initial point in initial estimation is really important. Remember to put your main lens towards something that is very obvious geometric structure. So that will help your camera to generate and estimate the initial point very easily and very quickly. By moving your camera up and down, front and back, left and right, that will help the main lens judge the initial point of the environment. And the other information from the other three image sensors will help the camera to capture the perceive all the information in the 360 world. So when you're shooting pilot tour in your virtual tour environment, you'd better have a good observation of your whole environment and find the part which is the best for the initial start for the pilot tour. Tips number two, in July 2020, we'd better take pilot tour in a single room for the best sharing experience with your clients. Because at this moment, the virus slam is not that powerful that could generate multiple rooms with different perspective. So you better take pilot tour in a single room and take another pilot tour in another room and link this tour all together to finalize your product to your clients. And with the evolution of the pilot tour in the future, uh, this camera will finally have a better support for the multi-room, multi-space pilot tour. So I'm looking forward to that day. And the tips number three, the name of the pilot tour is very important. Think twice before you type in the name of your pilot tour. The client will see your name of pilot tour at the first sight. Okay, that is all about my personal understand about the Pilot Tour feature in July 2020. I do hope that this feature could have a much faster and better evolution in the near future to provide more value to our clients. I hope this video could help you have a better understand about the Pilot One, especially focus on the Pilot Tour feature. In the future, I will share with you more about my Pilot Tour example, uh, some more tips and tricks about this camera. Until next time, bye.